my nine years of being president of the Ad Club. This has become by far my favorite event. First time caller here of the Ad Club uh, Women's Forum and I've been blown away beyond my expectations. The content, the quality of the speakers, the dialogue, the venue, the hospitality, it's just amazing and I'm so proud for Havas Media to be associated with this event. Ag Club Women's Leadership Forum is always an amazing event. Stop saying I'll be happy when I get that job, I marry that person, I sell my company. And start saying I'm happier now because I really thought that the way success worked, it was linear, and nothing has been linear for me. And so one of the things I love about this event is I think it creates this opportunity to talk about the different paths you can take to success. Always be ready to lead, because when that opportunity comes, it's going to change your trajectory. Uh, Kathy Kiley tells me I'm here because the first black female president of the Harvard Lampoon is speaking, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> You know, she reminded me that I am that woman, and so, ipso facto, I'm here. It's about having your own voice and your real voice. It is so incredibly important to be engaged, to participate, to help shape your democracy. Feeling like you can move ahead based on your own merit is what, you know, we want for ourselves, what we want for our coworkers, what we want for our children. Meeting a, a generation of women here today who feel that that's within their power is a really happy and exciting thought. I'd like to see more women embrace all sides of themselves, embrace themselves as outspoken leaders, but also incredibly um, reflective and thoughtful human beings. And I remember walking into my boss's office and saying, Steve, I love working here and Massachusetts is home, but some guy named Osama bin Laden has defined my country and has defined my religion and I can't sit here in Massachusetts and not serve. You have to help me get back to Washington. I think you really absolutely must think about yourself in terms of the, the resources that you have, the skills that you have, the opportunities and perspective that you have to make a difference in your community. Don't ever say you don't have work experience, because you do. And I think that girls, oftentimes we don't know how special we are. And I would love it if we could tap into that a lot earlier in life. Who knows what the potential would be if we understood how special and how gifted we are. Kind of accelerate that journey so it doesn't take so long. The creative process for me has been interesting in that almost by accident, the projects that I write about are about women empowerment. One thing I learned was the idea of being brave, and being brave comes in a lot of forms. I can't take any credit for our survival in those early weeks after the bombing. It was half luck and half skill. The faces of those that are in similar or worse situations trying to get by with less money, less support, and less education. Their difficulties are now all too familiar, their future's uncertain. When our emotional and physical state improves, we bring our experience and our professional training as a nurse and psychologist, and one day soon, our energy and determination. Don't underestimate yourself. I think that's been the big message that I've taken through all of this and sort of through my journey to, to be in this position. Is just be who you are and don't, don't underestimate yourself, ever. I would tell people to kind of ignore the noise and ignore the chatter and just be their own best self, to do what they're best at, to show what they can do, um, and to do it on their terms. My advice uh, to everyone is to make sure that they listen to their heart and know what their passion is and go forth. Be very aware of the opportunities around you. Find your own definition of success and strive for that. The first thing of being an effective leader is ask. Ask questions, ask yourself, ask others. You need to figure out what are the things that you need in order to be your best self at work and be bullish and selfish about it. Wherever you are, whatever piece of that work life you're in right now, focus as much as you can on that piece. I have a work-life balance and you know, and the, the, the reason why is because I dictate that balance and you have to because you can't do it all.